Oh, hello, Cesar. Oh, do you know magic? Yes, Cesar. Oh, goody. Can you give me some spindle discs? Spindle discs? What are you talking about? Oh, I think I know. Yo-yos? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, no problem. Just give me a few gold coins. <gasps> But these are all my gold coins. I don't have any other ones. Don't worry. You'll get them back later. Okay, here you go. Skangare Kondaya. Hey, little guy. Give Caesar a yo yo. Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today we're taking a look at Alchemix. Now, Alchemix, it says here, is a synthetic protocol token. That is backed by future yield. Now that's a little bit hard to understand, but basically it's a place where you can lend some tokens and borrow some other tokens. But it's a very special one, okay? There's no liquidations and your debt, your only debt is time. So what does that mean? I'm gonna swing over to a flowchart and show you basically what's happening inside here. And then I'll just quickly, very quickly show you the different user interfaces after that. Okay, so here we are on the flowchart. And before I get started, I'd like to preface this with an, the idea that I'm not an expert on this protocol, but I did spend some time researching it and I think I have a pretty good understanding, enough that I can explain the basic basics to you and you can get a good understanding. Now, like as always, I suggest you go to their Discord and ask questions, maybe their Telegram as well, and find out more, read their documents, you know, read their mediums, okay? But anyhow, so let's get into this and I'll explain to you how I understand this to work. So here we have Dollar Bill, right? Our friendly investor, Dollar Bill. Now, Dollar Bill has some money. I don't know how he made it. Let's just say perhaps, perhaps he gave it to a monkey and the monkey turned it into more money, right? Maybe Maybe he's been drawing lines and making money or maybe he's been you know f farming tokens and selling them for dye or maybe he got some hot tip from his grandma and his grandma you know made him a whole bunch of money but anyways somehow he has a bunch of dye in his pocket and he's looking to spend some of it so maybe he wants to spend he has 1,000 dye and he wants to buy a Duncan MG freehand yo-yo costs 450 dollars and he's like oh I want that sweet yo-yo now he could spend some of these and buy this yo-yo and be happy and have you know maybe around 500 dollars left over after shipping and so forth but maybe he has another idea he comes across Alchemex and Alchemex has a pretty unique situation going on that I haven't seen anywhere else so what does he do here so he will take go to the Alchemex user interface open up the vault and stick his 1000 dollars into the vault When he sticks his thousand dollars into the vault, that gives him the ability to mint some ALUSD tokens. So it's a dollar stable coin, basically. It's actually pegged to the die. So he can then use this five hundred dollars that he's minted to buy the yo yo and be happy with that. Now he can only mint half of what he put in at max. So he now has $500 worth of debt because he owes this vault $500 because he took $500 out. As you can see, he currently has $1,500 worth of value and $500 worth of debt, okay? Because he's got a yo-yo. And so what is this vault going to do with his money, his die that he's put in there? It's going to send it all over to our friend, Mr. Fox, the die fox. Now, if you want to know what he's going to do with the money, you can watch this other video that I've made. And maybe by the time you're watching this, this video, this vault will be even more complicated. Now, it's a pretty complicated thing as it is, so I can't explain to you now. Just watch the other video and you will get a better understanding of maybe what's happening inside this vault. Things change. Remember that. So now he's they send this vault, or these die tokens that he put inside. They send it to Mr. Fox here and Fox starts learning using it to make money in DeFi. 
So some time passes and he's made a hundred dollars and he will send that back to the Alchemix user or the Alchemix ecosystem and to the thing they call the transmuter. So he sends the die back towards the transmuter, but before it gets in there, they take ten dollars. They take ten percent away and they give it to the Dow Treasury. Now the Dow Treasury will the Dow will decide what to do with this treasury funds as usual. So there's actually only ninety dollars that were put into this transmuter. Transmuter, and as you can see, his debt is reduced by $90 over here. And then the next step. Now, what can he do? Now he has less debt. He could borrow another $90 from the trans uh, from the vault and use those to buy some new yo-yo strings. He likes his yo-yo, but he needs strings to run his yo-yo. So he goes out and buys a bunch of yo-yo strings. Now, there's another option. Maybe he doesn't need yo-yo strings. Maybe he got yo-yo strings for Christmas. So instead, maybe he will borrow that $90, send it to the transmuter, and pull out the die. So now he has die inside his pocket, and he can use that die in DeFi to do other things. Now, there's another option he could do. Instead, he could just pull out some of his initial die. So then he has $900 ten dollars worth of collateral in here and he pulled out the die now this is not the best thing to do because now his earnings will be less next time because before he had a thousand dollars but now he has 910 so it will take longer for the fox to make him more money so this is not something you want to do unless you really 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 want this die back it's probably better to pull this die, which is about the same. And the final option he has is he could not mint any tokens and just leave his debt at 410. And he still has a thousand dollars inside there. And he only owes 410. And slowly, 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 after time, this debt will go away. And then he can just pull it out. And he's got himself a free yo yo right now. Okay. So I think this is pretty straightforward. It's pretty interesting. I, um, I've looked a little bit more. There's a little bit more complica complications with this transmuter about, you know, they have to hold funds in here. And uh, because they want to hold funds in here so that people can always pull out, right? But they've been also sending these funds back to the fox to make the yield of everybody a little more fast. To make the debt paying off a little faster. So there's a little bit more complications to this transmuter. You can ask about that and get into it. But I think you understand the general idea. So let's swing over to the user interface and I'll just show you some of the buttons. I'm obviously not going to run any transactions because I don't want to do this right now. And it is running on Ethereum and Ethereum gas is not the best thing to waste. Okay. Okay, so when you first press the app button, it's up at the top here, right here, launch app, you will be put into this home screen, which is now the app, it'll ask you to connect your wallet. And when you connect your wallet, you will have access to these four things. So here is the vault, the part where you put your die in. Here's the transmuter where the rewards are going and you can pull out die. This is a place where you could trade your AA. ALUSD because you know most places won't accept ALUSD tokens to uh, buy things so maybe you needed some die or some USDT or something so you can go here to swap is basically like curve and then here you can use your AL tokens you can try to you know you ALUSD to farm the governance token and then you can vote on how the treasury is done so let's just open a few of these okay so here we are now um, this is where you would deposit your die and this is where you would then borrow the amount of die now the numbers of course will change and all these numbers will tell you how much you can borrow and so forth and then here's where you would try to withdraw your die that you've deposited and this is how you can repay your ASL debt so that you can then withdraw your die and liquidate is basically a way to close down the entire thing now the protocol itself cannot liquidate you because you are always going to have less and less debt the two tokens are pegged to each other so they cannot swing and you cannot get liquidated by the actual protocol but you can just liquidate yourself by paying off everything okay let's go over to the transmuter
So like I said, the transmuter is kind of like a global place where they put all the dye that they've been earning but from yarn, and you can come in here and you can try to pull out some dye from it. You can stake your ALSD tokens in here and get some transmuted dye out of it and so forth. It's a complicated thing and I didn't really cover this very well, so I, if you really want to know more about this transmutation, I suggest you go to the docs or the discord and ask more. But basically, like I said, you put you can stick your ASLDs in there and they can use those AL USDs to get some more yield and you can pull out your yield, you can pull out some yield from the transmuter. But that gets you the kind of the idea. So here are the curve swaps where you would come to swap the ALSD. You at ALUSD, you would just come here and say, oh, I, I have some ALUSD and I want some dye or I want some tether or whatever it is you, you want. And you could just swap it, you know, use your calculator. Now, pretty soon the actual, this is curve swaps by Yearn Finance. It's kind of like a, a back end to a, uh, what they call a factory pool at curve. So pretty soon this will actually be put into curve finance so there will you can actually go to curve and swap on curve instead and then the final thing we have the farms where you can put different tokens and uh, farm the al cx token the governance token so as you make as you can see there's a sushi swap lp if you provide to this lp you can get these tokens this um, this percentage of the uh, Alchemix governance token. If you supply to the curve pool here, you can get this amount. If you su just supply the, the, the governance token here, you can get this. And if you just lock the ALUSD in here, you can get this percentage. So I've just given you a quick look at everything. I hope this makes a lot of sense and I hope it encourages you to come and check it out. Now, the reason why I decided to check this out is because I'm thinking about buying something and it's pretty costly, but I, you know, I hesitate to buy anything of like value now because I don't want to take my money out of crypto. Like it's so lucrative right now. So I think this is a valid way to look at it. I've also been trying to figure out if I could do this manually somehow without actually using the Alchemex and, you know, giving them 10% of the profit. But I can't quite get my arm, my mind around how to get the tokens for nothing. Because when you mint your tokens, in here, when you borrow the, the tokens, you don't have to pay any fees. So the only cost here is your time. So you're kind of, you're giving up some of your yield, but you don't have to pay any actual minting fees or borrowing fees. So this is very interesting and I think I'm gonna look deeper and try to understand this better and maybe perhaps use it to make a purchase in my real life. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this is helpful and uh, goodbye.